Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 13 where we're learning a great deal on surface areas and volumes. This is webisode number 3 and friends today our focus is surface area of a right circular cylinder. So let's get started. Now from our earlier grades, earlier classes, we know what is a right circular cylinder. And the most common example of that is a soda can. Think about your favorite brand of soda can. Of course you were thinking about a rising pearl soda can, right? So soda can is a perfect example of a right circular cylinder. Now let's draw an actual right circular cylinder right next to it. So all right circular cylinder, they have two circles, one at the top and one at the bottom. So this is a circle, this is a circle, and then they have this curved surface. So when you think about a soda can, the entire red part that curves around, this is where if you were to think, let's see if I can actually draw this. Say if you were to grab the soda can, so you're going to be holding the soda can like this with your fingers. So the part of the soda can on which your fingers go on, or the way basically you hold a soda can, that entire part is the curved surface. So all right circular cylinders, they have two circles, one at the top, this circle, one at the bottom, this circle, and then this curved part. So that makes all right circular cylinder. So from dimension standpoint, two important dimensions are this one, which is the radius. This is the radius of the top and the bottom circle. So they both are the same. If the top circle is R, then the bottom circle radius will be also R. And the second most important the dimension or the measure which is important is the height. How high the right circular cylinder is. So now that we know what a right circular cylinder is, let's find out how to calculate the total surface area. So we have drawn ourselves a right circular cylinder. Now the top circle, what is the area of the top circle? Because it's a circle and say it has a radius r. So any circle with radius r, the area which is shown in blue here is pi r square. Because area of any circle is pi r square if the radius is r. Similarly, as you can imagine, the area of the bottom circle again highlighted in blue will be again pi r square because if this radius is r this radius is also r so both circles have the area as pi r square pi r square now we are left with the third part of the right circular cylinder which is highlighted in yellow so the curved surface area will be 2 pi r times h. So it will be 2 pi r h, where h is the height of the cylinder from the top to the bottom. So now, again, the curved surface, to just quickly refresh, is the entire, entire red portion of the soda can where you're going to basically put your finger to grab the soda can. That is the curved surface area. And that is 2 pi r h. So now, if you were to put it together, the total surface area, the total surface area of uh, any right, cy right circular cylinder or cylinder will be surface area of the top circle plus surface area of the bottom circle plus the curved surface area. So if you add the two blue areas and the yellow area, you're going to get the total surface area of the cylinder. So which will be equal to pi r square plus pi r square, top circle plus bottom circle plus the curved surface area, pi r square plus pi r square is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. So from here we take 2 pi r common. So we have 2 pi r times r plus h. This is the formula to find out total surface area of a right circular cylinder. 